it's a proud cat lover and today we're going to be weighing the reptiles and I'm going to be showing you guys how this new scale I got today works because I'm excited to use it. Um, the platform itself is glass but it also comes with this metal cover here and I'm going to be keeping the metal cover on it so that it'll be easier to clean which I have it over here I'll show you guys real quick. It's about, <clears throat> I'm going to say it's probably about eight or nine inches long the entire thing itself and then you can see here the deal just comes off like that. It takes two AAA batteries, so it takes less batteries than the other one I was using that's really tiny. And it's pretty simple. has an on and off button, has a mode, and then the tear, which is the zero button. So you'll like push this and it'll turn on and then you hold it down for a couple seconds when you want to turn it off. It will turn off on its own after a minute has gone by of not being used. And then the mode here will go to pounds and ounces or grams, so which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and do all of the crested geckos first, then we'll do the leopard gecko, and we'll do Raja, my snake, last. So I have Ember here, and she's fired down because I just got her out. She's looking all pretty as usual. Well, as pretty as she can look fired down. And last time I weighed her, she was 66.13 grams. So I'm going to come over here, turn this on maybe, stick her on my other arm temporarily. Should be on grams already. Yep, there we go. Okay, come here, sweetie. And what's nice is she's so big, so hopefully it'll be able to weigh her. Climb right onto there for me. Nope, stop. Back up. No. That's one thing about her and platforms. Stop. Stop. Okay, there we go. So it looks like, and before it also said this, is she's 67 grams, so that's good. Okay, so I repositioned her just to check, and she is... Oh! Now it went to 68. Because <laughs> I got her tail on there as well, so her tail kind of was hanging off the side. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and write 68 down. The only thing I liked about the other one is it told like point, like five six or whatever. But I can deal with just having one number, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and get um, Blaze out next. So I have... Blaze here, and she's fired down as well, and we're going to go ahead and weigh her. She weighed 47.98, 47.98 in um, February, so we'll go ahead and get her taken up here. She should just be walking right on to it. Back up a little bit, there you go. Get your little toes on there, and get your tail. Okay. So it looks like she weighs 49 grams, which is a little bit more than last time, so that's good. So, she's a little pretty lady. She's like, just put me back in the tank. So we'll go ahead and write 49 grams, and we'll move on to Magma. After I finally got him out, we'll weigh him. And he um, weighed 52.4 grams last time, so we'll bring him over here. Get him to go on my arm so I can turn this on. Going. Okay, come here, little buddy. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get him on here. He's pretty good at going slow and staying on stuff, so come on. Get going. Keep going. There we go. Get your little tail on there. Boop. There we go. Stop. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good. Looks like he is 52 grams. And of course he's interested about all the new smells. He's like, the ladies have been on here. <laughs> but, uh, so we'll go ahead and write 52 grams and we'll move on to Eclipse. I'm going to be doing Phoenix last because where she's new and she is, um, being, uh, quarantined right now. So I want to do her last. That way they're not exposed to her germs. So we'll do her last. We'll move on to Eclipse next. So last time we weighed Eclipse, she was 72.31 grams, and I have her right here on my arm. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and then we'll go over and weigh her. Okay, guys, so it looks like if she can stay on the scale for me, she's being a little rebel. Stay. It looks like she is 76 grams, which is good, which I'm glad because that's a few, that's four grams more than she was last month so that's good so she's like I'm out of here so we'll go ahead and write 
that down and I'll just sit her on the bed and she can roam around while I get that written down. And then we will move on to Raja. Let's see, it was 76, I believe. Yes, okay. And then we'll go ahead and get Raja out. This time we weighed Raja, he was 18.49 grams and he's right here in my hand. Looking all pretty and cute as usual. I'm gonna see if I can get him weighed without using the cup. But we'll see. So I'm going to pause this, try to get him into like a little kind of circular shape, kind of how a ball python would be, to kind of give you an idea. And see if I can get him to sit still on the scales long enough to weigh him. So we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, so I was able to get his body at least on the scale, which is good. He's behaving. So he is 23 grams. It's reading. Hey, hey, where are you going? Don't you be doing that. Get on there. Get on there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and write that down. He's gained a little bit, which is good, and then tonight is his feeding, so that's why I chose to weigh everybody tonight, is because he's getting fed tonight, so I needed to get the weight. So now we'll do Phoenix. We'll get him put up. <laughs> so here's Phoenix, and she just shed last night, which I'm making a little separate video of that. Whoop! <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. She's been really jumpy lately, which is to be expected because she's all stressed out and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we'll take her over and get her weighed and see how much she weighs. So it looks like she is 29 grams, which doesn't surprise me because she's pretty tiny, um, like I had said before. So she's probably only maybe close to two years old, if that, just because we're um, going off of what Ember used to weigh when she was about that age. I mean, you can never really truly guess. Sorry, I didn't mean to poke you. Oh, okay. I got her now. Okay. But we'll write that down. And then I will put her up. Because she's a little wild lady, of course. Boop. There we go. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching the weighing video. And as usual, I will be saying goodbye now. But one last, one last view here of my beautiful little frog butt, who is adorable. And you can see she has some partial pinning here. Since she's sitting still for me, she's being all good. And then she has some little white spots. She's so cute. Her little feet. After I edit it. But yeah, she's really pretty. She's fired up right now, which probably is from stress. The others will fire up just kind of because I think they get excited when I get them out. But with her, I think it's stress, of course, because she's freaking out that I have her out of the tank. So anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And have a good day.